what I thought would be useful is to give some forward-looking context on what we're doing with Flash. I know there's been a lot of uh, interest in the industry around the direction, including one of the things that we've talked about previously, and I think some of you may have seen if you looked at any of the work that we did and announced at our MAX conference back in October around 3D. We have a technology that we codename Molehill, which is going to be coming out this year across all of the devices. So not only on the desktop, but also across tablets, across mobile phones, that gives full 3D immersive modeling and rendering experiences for game developers and should take these social casual games that have been growing so quickly to the next level and really create very, very compelling user experiences. Some of you may have seen this week that we brought to market a new version of Flash Player 10.2. Um, and we will be um, extending that 10.2 release through all of our device ecosystem partners who are now in the process of bringing it to market for their respective devices as well. And what 10.2 is does is introduce a very compelling innovation. It's a technology that we call stage video. And what it does is it allows the Flash player to go directly to hardware, not only for decoding the video, but also for all of the compositing and rendering of the video to the screen. And so what we're able to do by leveraging that video technology is produce beautiful 1080p quality video from the Flash Player that is limited only by the hardware capabilities and the display capabilities of the display device. And it also, of course, by going directly to the capabilities of the hardware, is able to use all of the purpose-built optimized silicon that gives you not only high performance, but also battery efficiency. So it's going to give you the same experience as a native video player. And it's going to do that in a way that allows the video to be integrated into the interactive and rich experience that the rest of the Flash player delivers, meaning that you can still do things like deliver overlays or video player controls or do analytics using the Omniture capabilities. Um, you can mix video into games. And it's possible to do these things now in a way that goes directly to hardware, is going to reduce your processor and memory usage, enable the higher frame rates and the better video quality. You can see that we have metrics now that show that you get 80% CPU savings when you're doing a 1080p video on Windows and Mac OS. So this benefits not only the mobile device, but it also benefits laptops and desktop devices as well, which now are going to consume less power and perform at a higher rate. Um, it's going to be supported, like I said, across devices. So you'll see this capability coming soon to Android 3.0 or the Honeycomb release, as well as the BlackBerry tablet OS. And one of the great things about this technology is it doesn't require any kind of re-encoding. It uses the same exact H.264 video content um, that has already been encoded and deployed broadly across the internet and allows that content to now take advantage of this new capability and get all of these benefits. One of the things that's been critical for us in being able to achieve these innovations around uh, video performance and battery optimization as well as other performance gains that we've achieved over the past couple of years has been an absolutely massive partner ecosystem that we've built through an initiative that we have called the Open Screen Project. And so you can see here listed more than 70 partners that we have teamed up with as part of this project, spanning the industry and all of the different sectors of the industry who have teamed up with us. And we've worked with engineers side by side in the office together. Um, and so it's through that work that we've been able to achieve a lot of the optimizations. And we're very excited now to see these partners taking the results of all of that work and beginning to deploy it very broadly across the devices that they create. So with that uh, brings us to, to our summary. We're invested really in three runtime technologies in our content authoring business and making sure we deliver um, a really rich and capable experience where the right tools and the right technologies are used for the appropriate jobs. That includes the work that we're doing with both HTML5 and Flash across both the Flash Player and Air. And we now see this year as we head into 2011 that more than a third of all new smartphones and more than 50 new tablets that we already have line of sight to are going to be coming out with Flash Player as well. Um, and then, as I mentioned, the very important innovation that we brought to market this week with Flash Player 10.2 stage video, which has now given an enormous CPU savings, battery savings, um, and given us the ability to deliver 1080p video um, with really flawless quality across different platforms, whether it be desktop, tablet, mobile, and of course, to the, to the television set as well.